it's a beautiful looking veal breast. So how do we start? Well, just so you know, it's ribs and then the pocket's cut in it. So Christine's yep, so going to make the, the filling. Yeah, we have the right here. Yep. So Here's just our go pocket. To your butcher. You're not going to find this in the supermarket. Yep. Go to a really good butcher and tell them exactly what you want and tell them you need a pocket and they, they'll they know exactly what to do. And we've got about eight ribs on this, eight yes. to ten. Okay, So good. we do this for large parties yeah. normally. We, if we have ten people, twelve people, that's the kind of thing that we oh, would do. Oh, if it's our house, you know, two or three people, that's it. That <laughs> and you do. said you, two of you could oh, eat this. Oh, we could eat this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Absolutely. let's see what goes into it. So we're going to make a stuffing. After. Yes, we're going to start with some uh, fresh regatta. Yes. Is we, this an old family recipe? It is. It's I actually made this so you grew up with yep. this yeah and my mother actually stuffed chicken with this uh -huh. it's fabulous yeah. inside chicken yeah it was our stuffed stuffed chicken okay. or turkey i'm thinking turkey you could probably do yeah turkey we do our turkey this. at thanksgiving with this we do some white raisins yes okay that reminds you don't want to overdo the sicily. raisins it gets a little watery yeah so you got a little sweet and sour going yeah. on some there. pinoli nuts now you don't toast the pine nuts first no, no. Okay. we don't all right and it's very mild tasting and i think the prosciutto uh gives it a little yes. boldness a little to it saltiness yeah so now what kind of cheese cheese okay so pecorino cheese yeah well, we yeah. have when we use pecorino romano right. we only use um parmigiano cheese if we were dressing a salad or something yeah. a okay. topping yes the pecorino black would be more, pepper uh, more um uh, what you would find in your culture yes in, yes in southern italy okay good so salt, salt. not too much eggs. because you've got salt in the pecorino yes. cheese right well you so, have and you have it in your prosciutto, you have it in the prosciutto so a little about the eggs we always break eggs individually in a dish and mm -hmm. then add them in after we see it's okay we never break them all in one bowl because if you have one bad egg oh, that good. means everything's ruined or if you go directly into it you wound everything, everything. that's in the bowl that's so a good that's a good very good tip so it's just something that we grew up doing. So you're only going to add as many eggs as you need to bind this together. Yeah, and yes. I think we're going to start yeah. with two, Christina. Okay. Or do you yeah. want three? No, try two. Okay, and then you can take it from there and see. So how did you girls start cooking? This oh. is an interesting story. <laughs> well, it's, it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> we actually started three weeks before we opened our restaurant. <laughs> Courage. Just, just do it. That's up. all I can say. Yes, <laughs> we, you know, you saw we saw our mother cooking when we were a kid. But her pride and joy was her kitchen, mm -hmm. and she actually would wait for people to say how great things are when they came to the table. So, she didn't really involve us in the cooking, but we saw her, and it was little things like we just said recently. Uh, we were telling some people we would fork the ravioli, or maybe you know uh, do the pizzelli. Yeah. Just little things, and just before we opened. We had to tell our mother that we need recipes because we have line cooks and there's no possible way for us to tell line cooks a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Yeah. So And that was a fun process, let me tell you. <laughs> that was, I don't have measurements. Yeah. It's everything touch, everything's feel. And you still right. need to learn eye. to touch and feel, mm -hmm. but I think that comes with time. So we, for three weeks, we um, did instant rewind. She would put flour on a board, we'd reverse it and put it in a measurement cup. Uh -huh. So I mean, it wasn't really fun, let me tell you. <laughs> she wasn't now very patient. I don't think she really wanted to share everything with us. I think she still didn't want to lose her position. So now this is your mixture. Yep. This is what you're going to put in as your uh, filling. Yes. Christine, I think wow. one more egg. Beautiful. Yes. One more egg. Okay, I think good. So. Why don't we crack one more egg? Here. This is actually so beautiful when it's finished. Mm. The presentation, bringing it to a table, is just. Yeah. Now, how long is this going to take to cook? Uh, it takes about, I'd say, two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. And. What I say to do is to let it set at least yeah. for half an hour yeah. to an hour afterwards. It still stays warm, mm -hmm. but it cuts beautifully. Mm. Would you ever think of doing a different filling than this? No. Always do. No. <laughs> yeah, well, I have well, to tell you something. Answer. Well, yeah. you know what it is with us? Everything about food is a memory. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we're tradition. willing to learn from other people and try other things, but I think that but for you us... you to keep those traditions Yeah, it's a tradition. Stuff it with, if there was something else. You know, every recipe is different. You have to judge because these come in all different sizes. Yeah. Um, sometimes Last week we had two that were probably double the size of that. Mm. And then I did another one the week before, and I used, only used a pound and a half. Well, so. this is the one I'm taking home, isn't it? Yes, yes it, it is. is. <laughs> so that would... I think your husband will love this. Oh, Family my God, dinner. I know okay. he would. If mm. you go from the top and push in, yeah, it might be easier. Yeah. Not that I'm mm -hmm. sure that you've done this hundreds of times. Yeah, but this is this I'll is really stuck to you. Yeah, we're going to explode here in a <laughs> few moments. So, so that goes over the top. Yeah. And we're using extra virgin olive yes. oil for this. That's going to give it a nice brown. Yeah. And we're going to yep. put this in the oven Crispy. at 375. Mm -hmm. uh, probably probably for about two and a half hours, but. We put it in without anything on it to start with. Oh, no salt and pepper? I mean, no, no tin foil. Oh, okay. 
So we put it in the oven just the way it is. It'll probably brown up a little. If we see the last half hour it starts to get a little too brown, we'll just cover it with tin foil. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's take this. The up. oven's on at 375, right? Look at this yes, thing. 375. Good exercise. Yeah. That's it. There you go. We're done. She's a beauty. <sighs> this goes in a big oven. 375? 375. This thing's heavy. This is heavy. Yeah, this is good for exercise. Okay. okay, good.